lucky can I get? One of my favorite resources for our garden literally grows on trees, and I don't have to go to the nearest big box store to buy them. I just wait for them to fall at my feet. Fallen leaves from deciduous trees contain nutrients essential for plant growth. Leaves from trees such as maple, beech, ash, and oak have an NPK of about 0.5, 0.1, 0.5, and also contain calcium and magnesium. These nutrients are gradually released into the soil by the soil food web, creating nature's own version of a slow-release fertilizer. But nutrients are only part of the picture. Leaf mold also improves soil structure and the soil's ability to hold water. In fact, leaf mold can retain 300% of its weight in water. Decomposed leaves will also aerate heavy soils, improve water retention in sandy soils, and reduce evaporation. And nothing will attract earthworms to your garden and increase their population better than leaf mulch. Mulching your garden beds with leaves in the fall will insulate earthworms from the cold of winter and provide an excellent food source for them in the spring. In our garden, even a heavy layer of leaf mulch applied in the fall will be devoured by the worms by the end of May, leaving nutrient-rich castings in their place. So needless to say, all of the leaves that fall on our property stay on our property. In addition, some of our neighbors bag up their leaves and give them to us rather than pay the city to haul them away. And I'm not above doing some scavenging when I see bags of leaves left out on the curb for city pickup. Usually I end up collecting about 30 to 40 yard bags of leaves every fall. So what do we do with all the leaves we collect? We add them to our compost and worm bins, make leaf mold, and use them as mulch. For all of these uses, it's best to shred the leaves first. You can shred them with a shredder, a lawnmower, or you can put them in a large trash can and shred them with a weed whacker. Shredded leaves will break down faster and won't mat together as much. Fortunately, these four bags, which I picked up curbside, were already shredded for me. Leaves are a brown compost ingredient, so they need to be added along with green ingredients, like manure, coffee grounds, or in today's case, spent brewery grains. Here I am topping off a compost pile with leaves after adding a couple of buckets of spent grains. The leaves will break down quickly when added along with green ingredients. A general guideline is to add five parts leaves by volume to one part green material. When available, I prefer leaves over shredded paper as a brown ingredient in our worm bins. Red wigglers are excellent shredders and will work their way through leaves fairly quickly, especially if the leaves are pre-shredded for them. Leaf mold is the product of decomposed leaves. I've already mentioned some of its benefits, including improved soil structure and water retention. You make leaf mold much like you make compost, but instead of adding a variety of ingredients to the pile, you only add leaves. Just collect your shredded leaves in a large pile or in large bags. Keep them moist and wait six months to a year, and you'll have an amazing soil amendment to add to your garden. My favorite way to use leaves in the garden is as mulch. They protect and feed earthworms and other beneficial soil organisms, moderate soil temperature, retain moisture in the soil, suppress weeds, prevent erosion, improve soil structure, and provide a slow release of nutrients into the soil. In previous years, I've always heavily mulched our garden beds in the fall with leaves. This year, because we're growing a cover crop, I won't be mulching in the fall but we'll save the leaves to use as mulch in the spring. So enlist your friends, family, and neighbors, and collect as many leaves as you can. If your garden beds are bare, pile them onto the beds now. Add them to your compost pile. Feed them to your composting worms, or start a leaf mold pile. Your garden will repay you for your efforts next summer. Well, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, remember... You can change the world one yard at a time.